Okay. So to insert a syringe into the pump, you first hit the on button. The pump's going to go through a self-test check and it will start. And once that's done, the driver head is going to retract. And once the driver head is retracted, the screen's going to prompt you to either start programming the pump or open the syringe holder. So to open the syringe holder, you're going to hold this down, pull this back, turn right, and then you're going to open the lid. And you're going to want to insert this piece of the syringe into this gap here. Hold that in place, pull out, push back in, and close the lid. Afterwards, select the type of syringe you have, and the driver head will close. And once that's complete, you can start using your drug library. And that's it. So once you have the syringe loaded into the pump, you can go ahead and use the drug library, which is the screen that pops up next. So we're going to hit yes, and there are three categories programmed into these pumps. We have favorites, all neonatal meds, and neonatal med loads. Favorites are all the medications that are likely to be used by your team, and these can be changed as needed. All neonatal meds contain all the medications that are programmed into this pump. Um, so, and you just scroll down to the medication that you need to use it. The last category are neonatal med loads, and these contain the loading doses uh, of medications that are programmed into the pump. Okay, so now that the syringe is loaded, I'm going to show you how to program two different drugs. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use the drug library, and let's use gentamicin for example. So let's say you look on your sheet and you determine that this patient needs gentamicin 4 milligrams per kilo. Go ahead and select that drug. Uh, this right here is just a reminder because the, these pumps display rates as milligrams per kilo per hour. Um, and your sheet is going to say 4 milligrams per kilo infused over 30 minutes. So this is just a reminder that these two are the same thing. And you'll see what I mean next. So. Go ahead and get rid of that warning. Let's say the weight of the patient is four kilos. Hit OK. And you can see here the pump says eight milligrams per kilo per hour, which we know is four milligrams per kilo. Um, thing is, to make it infused over 30 minutes, we actually have to program that in. So that's under time. You're going to hit that. Select 30 minutes. Press OK. And that is all. So just a quick review, you're going to one, select the medication. So we have gentamicin 4. Number two, enter the weight. And number three, you're going to enter the infuse over time. Once you have those three things, go ahead and press start. So once again, the rate displays as milligrams per kilo per hour. You have your gentamicin here. And the bottom here shows you additional information, which... Um, you can scroll through to see other information as well regarding the infusion. If you wanted to stop the pump, green lights mean it's infusing, and pressing start and stop will stop the infusion for you. So now I'm going to show you how to do a drip. So we're going to go into the drug library once again. Um, it's going to be under all neonatal meds. Let's say we want to do amiodarone drip. So we're going to go ahead and hit the left button. We're going to select a weight. Let's say the patient weighs 4 kilos. Press OK. And there you go. So this is your default dose, 7 mics per kilo per minute. Um, we can change that if you like. Press the left arrow. And you do whatever rate you would like to begin with. But 7 is the default for this medication. So let's say we kept the... Let's, do, let's say we did 6. Go ahead and press OK. So you have the option, if you like, to also enter an infuse over time here as well. But you don't have to for these. So just to review, number one, you select the drip. We have selected amio. Number two, we enter the weight. And number three, you have the option to select an infuse over time if you like. But I'm not going to do an infuse over time. I'm just going to hit start. 
and there it is. It will start. You have your drug, your rate, and then additional information again on your bottom left. And if you want to stop the drip, go ahead and press stop. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to use loading doses. So once again, we're going to go ahead and use the drug library. Select yes. I'm going to scroll down to neonatal med loads. And here's your options. So let's say we want to do a lidocaine load. Go ahead and select that. Um, once again, this is a reminder. Your sheet will say one milligram per kilo infused over five minutes. And the pump's going to say 12 milligrams per kilo per hour. Once again, these are the same thing. Just keep in mind, 12 milligrams per kilo per hour is equal to one milligram per kilo infused over five minutes. So I'm going to get rid of that reminder. We're going to enter the weight of the patient. Let's say they're three kilos. Press OK. Um, so once again, here it is. It says 12 milligrams per kilo per hour, which we know is the same as one milligram per kilo if we infuse it over five minutes. So we have to enter a time here. So we're going to select that. I'll scroll to the right. Put in five minutes. Select OK. In a quick review, once again, we selected one, the medication. Two, we entered the weight of the patient. And then three, we put in a time up for the bolus. So in this case, it was five minutes. Once we have those three inf pieces of information, we go ahead and press start. So here, it is, once, once again, here's the rate, 12 milligrams per kilo per hour. It's a lidocaine loading dose. That's what LD stands for. In the bottom left, you have additional information if you like. And if you want to stop the infusion, for whatever reason, you can just press stop. And that is it.